Hey, what's up, guys? It's True Flight here. We're back in the crew for the July Summit. So we're going to be hitting up the Monster Truck event. And, uh, still have not maxed out my Monster Truck, which is just really sad. I kind of started liking the GTR, but I've got the, the Camaro up so much higher right now, and I haven't bothered to go buy parts for any other car. I kind of like the Hummer, too, just because it looks awesome as a Monster Truck, but... For now, we'll stick to the Camaro. I like the sound of the V8 anyway. I actually haven't messed with the monster trucks enough to know if they all sound similar. As I mentioned in previous videos, there's a there's an actual system to these. Or if you can figure out the pattern, you can rack up just insane scores. I'm usually happy getting about thirty thousand. Not a greedy man. I've often debated whether it's worth the time and effort it takes to actually get up here and get the uh, 50,000 or 5,000. If, uh... oh, that was close. The time it takes you to get the thing costs you more than the 50,000 you get by actually getting it. Oh, denied. Just kind of hoping to grab that 500 there, but see if we can't hit the loop. Oh, I hit that one. That's gonna wrap it up. That's a nice score for me, though. As far as my averages go, that's way above. Normally, I average around 30. So I'm extremely happy with 45. It's still gonna be sad compared to the record holders. Again, if you look, people post videos all the time. So there's certain combinations, a certain route through there that... Uh, net you a ton of points and uh, once you figure out the pattern you can rack up some huge scores it's actually respectably close for me for being my second worst event right up there with uh, drift anyway not gonna bother with a second run on there I'm happy with that so that's gonna wrap it up for the monster truck events and uh, we'll see you in the next video